B. Yeah. So next question. So for the direct voice director, are you sure there wasn't alcohol involved? Uh, <laughs> yes, because uh, Stephen Foster, to the best of my knowledge, is not a drinker, which is surprising. You want to know another interesting fact about Stephen Foster, the writer and director of the Dove of Ghost Stories? He is a gay, born again Christian. So that wrap your head around that. And he's very proud of, of ghost stories. So um, yeah, come on, come on in, come on in. Sorry, I started a little early. Oh my god. Hmm. If you have any questions, um, we have a line over right here. There's a line over here if you would like to ask questions about the ghost stories stuff. Next question. Why am I talking like this? So, All right. <laughs> Your team uh, decide how to change each character. Would one be Jewish, one be born again Christian? That was all uh, the, the twisted mind of Stephen Foster. Um, yeah, he decided that Monica should be like a holy roller and Greg Ayers should be a Jewish kid. And, uh, Lou, uh, well, let's see, wait, Hillary Haig, um, what's her deal? She's, well, her mom was a lesbian principal. Okay, whatever. Yeah. Um, my character was a, what, a perverted fifth grader. That's healthy. Um, and the, the cat was mean, and the little brother was ch challenged. <laughs> that, was, yeah. that was the direction he wanted to go. Of course. Come on in, there's some seats up front here. There are seats up in the front if you'd like. Or there are also some seats. It's all over. All are welcome at the Ghost Stories panel. Welcome. Wait, I have, now I want to re-ask the question, since there are more people in here. First off, you don't have to be 18 or older to get in, but who's under 18 in this panel room? Yes, we know about you. Yes. <laughs> okay, and have, and have you seen the Ghost Stories dub? Wait, wait, wait. Who has not seen the Ghost Stories dub? Oh. 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 Spoilers? So, well, okay, they passed like 14 years. <laughs> okay, I don't know if this is related to one of the other questions, but what scene made you cry from laughter? Oh, actually, I know there's one in particular, and I will find it on YouTube whenever I need to pick me up. Um, and I don't know why this makes me laugh, but I believe it's Christine Otten, who is the same person who, oh, the door's gonna have to be closed for this. Um, <laughs> Make sure the door is closed. Yeah, cool. Come on in, come on in. Um, when Christine Auden is playing Leo's mother, and she's like, rub my nipples. God <laughs> damn it, god damn it, god damn it. That, I don't know what, things about repetition make me laugh really hard. When something is obnoxious and repeated, oh my god, like the Macarena, that makes me laugh really hard. So that was style, no, that was terrible. Uh, no, uh, things that are repeated and ridiculous really like tickle my funny bone. Yeah, of course. That's a good question. Um, so it kind of seems at least that as the show goes on, things start to get more and more off the rails. Um, so is there kind of a deciding moment where the cast realized, okay, this is just going to be ridiculous? I think, is it kind of always the plan? I think, I think we may, how can I say I think one more time? Uh, <laughs> uh, because it was a long time ago, honestly. And I, but I do think that it was after the Bunny Rabbit episode. <laughs> And just kind of said, screw it. Yeah. <laughs> Even if it's a bunny. Yeah. <laughs> so, actually, time when I, after you guys recorded or write your dumb writing lines, like the suits came down and said, no, you can't say that. No, but, <laughs> no, 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 no. but believe it or not, there was a line I wouldn't say. And if you know me, you don't all know me intimately at all. Like, if you did, you'd be like, what? You, I literally, Stephen Foster typed it, and I was like, oh my god. I was like, no, I can't. Give me an alternate line. And he did, which ended up being just as bad, but I felt a little less guilty about saying it. So. And he, if you want a hint, it was at the swing set in the racetrack episode. So. <laughs> 
it's in there. Oh. Uh, I'm the show. <laughs> um, so I was wondering if there's like any bit that like you guys have crew came together and just said like, hey, let's do this, or like any that you guys are like, oh yeah, that's just awful. Like it's terrible. <laughs> no, and like this is probably what's so disappointing about the truth of the show is that we just like every other anime, we recorded this all alone as individuals. Now sometimes we would hear what other people had done, and we would think it was hilarious, but like, there was nothing that we sort of collectively agreed to. I think, like, Stephen Foster would, would find things with us, like, he found the thing with Greg, you know the way that Greg's character would always say, yeah, at the end of like every sentence? <laughs> like, there'd be a dangling flap, and Greg would just go, yeah. Like, we're, like, <laughs> like what is like, hot hung, Jew hot hung Jewish voice for hoochiemamas.com, yeah. Like, <laughs> like, yeah, at the end of every sentence, and, um, I think with my character, he just he wanted to push the perversity level as far as he could. I don't know why. I don't know why these decisions were made, but I thought it was funny in the end. That's all. Yes, yes. So, is there any plans to do the future of another anime that's going to be dubbed like Ghost Stories? No. No. <laughs> um, I don't know why, but I'll tell you this. I literally had like since I moved out to Los Angeles from from Texas. Um, I've had LA voice actors come up to me and be like, dude, like at a convention, I'm like, what? They're like, ghost stories, man. Like, yeah. And they're like, no, you don't understand, man. you were so lucky. You got to be a part of that, and that will never, it had never happened before, and it will never happen again, not like that. It was just, it, it, like, voice actors around the country, like, get together and have drinking parties and watch that show. It's... <laughs> 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 Wait, why is my light on? I'm not... What happened? What? Guys, it's the ghost. Okay. <laughs> before, I go, before the other questions come, I do want to address something that always comes up when this show gets talked about. And because I finally found an answer to this question that at least satisfies me, if not anyone else in this room, and if not, then screw all of you, but uh, no. <laughs> but people, a lot of people like to bring up, um, hey, I don't, I don't think that show would fly today, I don't think it could get made today, do you think it could get made today, do you think it would, and, because it's, I don't know if you guys know, it's being re-released next month. <laughs> May 1st, uh, they'll say, uh, but it's being re-released on Discotech, again, they're, they're doing like full new Easter egg, new interviews, and the dub, and sub, and the dub, the, the sub with the original subtitles, the sub with the new subtitles. <laughs> so the dub, it's gonna be crazy. But someone was like, man, that's so cool, but it's just, it's just not gonna fly. Here's the thing, it never did. <laughs> <laughs> that show was never okay. It wasn't polite, it wasn't politically correct, it was horribly offensive, and that's what comedy is sometimes. <laughs> That's true. Amen. Amen to that, man. Amen to that. What it allows you to do, if you're super offended by that stuff, it gives you a method to like, it's a steam release, it's a valve, it's like a pressure release, and you can laugh at all these horrible things being said by like junior high students, you know? <laughs> <laughs> or elementary, my god. Anyway, um, and if you're not offended by it, well, maybe we're not friends, but, uh, <laughs> but if you're not offended by it, then you, in other words, it just, it doesn't matter. It, it, it would, humor like that is never okay, it never flies. It only works because of how over the top and ridiculous it is. And because none of us really believe any of the garbage we're saying, we just think it's like funny. It's just it was just outrageous and offensive as hell, and we wanted to offend literally everyone, including like we made fun of ourselves in that show. So <laughs> I did want to address that subject. But yes, next question. Lucas Patton, thank you for being here. Would it be all right if I asked you two questions? Go for it. Two questions. Okay, first question. You had mentioned that there were some interesting rumors about ghost stories that you hear parroted back and forth. Would you like to share a good one? Yeah, uh, the most common rumor that I hear is that it's sort of a combination. It's a combo platter, if you will. And it's that we didn't care, and we just threw caution to the wind, and that we improvised the whole thing. 
Both of those things are like 180 degrees opposite from the truth. Because again, as I said earlier, you cannot improvise the dub of an anime. Dubbing anime is insanely technical work. And B, we did care, absolutely. Like, there was actually a lot of care and craft put into that show, and that's why it feels chaotic, and that's why it feels abridged, and this can't be the real dub. No, you could only do that with, like, sorry, but like seasoned actors and writers and, and skillful people because everything does fit the lip flaps. The jokes do stay in a sort of couched place in regards to the episode. Um, there are jokes that call back to other jokes. It was It's topical and pop culturally relevant for the time. Like, so, you no, know, there was a lot of care and crap put into it. And, again, you there was no improvisation at all. Uh, there were sometimes when we wrote jokes along the way, and if they worked, we found a way to fit them into the lip flaps and, and make them work in the third episode. What is your second question? That was so deep. Wow. Thank you. Um, <laughs> My second question was, I think there's plenty of people in the panel room and we're all connected to the internet. Would you like to start a new rumor for us to spread? <laughs> um, okay, you're the first to hear. Chris Patton actually wrote the entire dub, dub, the entire dub script for Ghost Stories. I know it! And directed it. <laughs> and everything you found funny was my idea. 